Hey crafters, <clears throat> excuse me, it's me, Jen Ears with Quality Crafts. And uh, I just did a video, in case you hadn't seen it, um, I'll try to remember to link it below, that I got some uh, Happy Mail uh, prize kit winnings from Ginny Maxim over at, I don't want to get this wrong, it's Christian Card Makers. She has two different uh, sites on Facebook. Anyway, people wanted to see what I was going to do with that. And so what I did was I just used a regular white card base, picked out some of the papers that came in the kit. That's what these are from. Love this. Don't you love this gold? So cool. And then this is some really shiny, like, um, not glossy, but glimmer kind of paper. And I went ahead and embossed this ahead of time and cut it down a bit and then I'm following the note theme that I did on my doodle today in case you saw the doodle and so this is something that I cut out on my cameo I just found something random on the internet um, transformed it and then cut it out there's a couple of Tim Holtz dies I'm going to use today a tea dye and a walnut stain I'm not sure how dark I want to go but I'm trying to kind of mimic this brown in this lace this is another lace that I showed before it's kind of goldish, kind of silver at the same time. Not quite sure. So anyway, I have a little bit of an idea. This is my envelope. So I went ahead and picked the envelope first. And the sentiment, because I'm horrible about that. So picking the sentiment sometimes helps. And I cut this down so that it would fit on the base. And these are the pieces that I want to kind of put underneath. So this is what I want to distress. Not Well, distress, I guess, edge whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start out with the tea dye and see what kind of a brown look I get with that. And then if I need to, I can step up to the walnut stain, which is just a tad darker because I kind of want it. Do you see what I mean? It's not quite, it's more of a brown than a deep brown, like a tan brown. But just to keep it even, I'm going to go ahead and swipe this one. And then I'm going to switch to those walnut stain because it's darker. I keep just random pieces of felt. It's like 30 cents a sheet for felt. And I just cut them to fit my um, Ink Essentials tool here. And I just keep them inside. And that works really well for me. So if you're looking for something that's easy to do. So there's another one in there. Then all I have to do is just put it down and then use that one. And I always have one of that color ready to go. Okay, so now you can see that this is getting much darker. Not quite the gray brown I wanted, but I'm going to go with that. That'll work for me. I guess it's more of a gray tone. But this will be really pretty. So this is walnut stain, this dark one. Okay, I want to distress the edge of this. I don't know where my distressor is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my scissors. Really love the look of distressed paper. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I guess it kind of goes with the theme of these papers. It's kind of eclectic, old, um, what do you call it? And now I'm debating, do I want to put some of that brown on the outside of the card? No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. I got asked one time why I'm using my glue and not my ATG gun and basically the simple answer to that is if you have this paper that's a little bit thicker that's not a really flimsy card or I mean a flimsy you know like pattern paper but more of a thick card stock it's much more economical to squeeze a little bit of glue on there and, and get it down and it's never going to come up obviously than it is to um, waste your ATG tape on it especially if you're um, buying, oh, I wanted to glue this underneath. I better peel this up. Um, especially if you're buying the really expensive brands. Like, I go to Tape Jungle 
And I buy the inexpensive ones that are like the same. It's the same stuff, but it's just cheaper. So if you're buying the really expensive stuff and you want to save money, just use some glue. Wet glue, it's so cheap. This would have been so much easier if I would have remembered ahead of time. I'm peeling it back up because I just realized that I was gluing it on backwards. I really want the super goldy part, the shiny part up. Whoops. So let's try that one more time. There we go. Could have gotten away with a lot less of this, couldn't I have? works and then we'll uh, make sure that we just get something on the top that's going to hold it down some too. I wonder if I still can use that. Eh, it's a little mucked up. We'll throw that out. All right, let me close this. That's because I don't want those to dry out. And I really want to add some of this gold. I'm not sure if I want to do it on top or on the bottom. I think I'm going to cut this because I'm going to save a little piece of this. This can go on another card. Love it. So pretty. That's not going to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do is just give it a bend and then put it back in my cutter and cut it again from the back side. And that way we got it cut. Okay. If you don't get a straight cut, you can always just cut off, trim it with your scissors. And then there. That way I'm not using up that whole piece. I can put that on another little card. We're going to save that off to the side. And let's bring back in these pieces. Because I want some of that to show. But I don't want to cover up all the pink. And I don't want to cover up all the really cool, fun stuff that's in this paper. So maybe a piece sticking out either side like that. That's pretty. Okay. <clears throat> So we're just going to hear this down with some glue. Wet glue. Or your ATG tape. You know, whatever you want. Just trying to, I always am trying to save money and cut corners with my supplies. Okay. Just going to make sure those are down. I was just, oops, because I want to make sure that placement is right. that glue grab and then do I want to put it on top and cover up that or do I want to put it underneath and not cover that up I think underneath I really want this pretty stuff to show it's so cool and I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this one I don't know why I just feel like it'll stick better if I do Okay, somehow I wanted to incorporate this red paper, but I haven't really figured that out yet. Maybe just some, let's trim some off and see how it looks. This red burgundy is like one of my absolute favorite colors in the whole world. It's awesome. Uh, I 
think I'm going to cut it down by half. And just add a little to the edges, maybe. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Tuck that side in and glue the rest down. And then do I want to do more or is that enough? <clears throat> Maybe some on this side. Yeah, that looks really cool. Kind of balanced. A little bit on each side. I like the look of that. Let's go for it. Neat. Okay. Now let's work on getting this sentiment on here. It, it says just a note. And I cut a little piece off the top because this end got really huge. <laughs> okay. That is going to look so cool. Some little hot glue boogers going on. Let's see. Just a note. That is so pretty. Okay, that's exactly where I want that. I'm not sure all of what's going to stick down here. Like maybe some of this is not going to stick because it's on that ribbon. But as long as the majority of it sticks in the center and stays on this paper, that'll be just fine. That is so pretty. Oh my, did I... Okay. Sometimes my camera is not keeping up with me. I got one um, comment from somebody that said they liked the, uh, what do you call it, the covered light. And I agree. I think that that's working out really well. Covering the light and just having it a little bit less bright is making it a little more clear. So I went with that this time. I went with the covered light and I think it's I think it's working out great. So just a note. Let's see, we're gonna put the uh I think here is it up here. I'm not sure on that yet. Let's let's put the just on. I need my picky tool. Because if I put the just over here, you'll really be able to see it. And where do we want the A? Just a note. That's kind of cute. Let's go with that. Too much glue, too much glue, I need a baby wipe. Okay. Geez, do I need more sticky out or what? I don't know.
glued the wrong side in my letter. Whoops. Maybe I'm just getting tired, I don't know. I'm trying to get this done before my husband comes home. Just a note. doesn't look right either. Did I put that T on wrong? Well, it's stuck down now. I think I got it out backwards. Okay, let's put that there. I don't know. I'm not really happy with the placement of... That looks good. Just a note. I feel like there. it needs more gold. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna work that in. Getting to be a long video. 16 minutes. It's crazy. It is pretty though. It's pretty with all that stuff that she gave. Let's see, do I have a gold? You know what? I think I have a gold marker here. Let me see if I can find it. I have a gold and a silver. What bucket are they hiding in? Maybe this one? Yeah, there it is. This is, uh, let's see. At you, Spica? I don't know. Twinkling Lake Stars number 11 gold. Um, that's all it says. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add some gold around the letters. This is kind of like one of those gel, like gel or jelly roll pens. Let's see if you can see that, see the gold and it shimmers just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that <clears throat> around the letters. Let's see if I can, if I bring you in, is it gonna wig out on me? We'll see. Doesn't look as good on top of the pink, but it does make them stand out. Let's do the A too. You can kind of see that. I like it. All right, I'm going to call that done before this video gets too crazy long. <laughs> it's already really long. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is from, uh, uh, let's see, a prize kit that I got from Jenny Maxim over at Christian Card Making on Facebook. So join us there if you're interested. She's full of inspiration. She's got great ideas. She's constantly putting out freebies. It's a really fun place to be. And I'll see you guys next video.